Hey everyone, I'm Dan Saavedra from MergerData.com and today we're going to be going over what is Make. In the simplest of terms, Make is an automation platform that doesn't require any knowledge of coding. You can take apps that usually aren't connected and connect them together without a human in between. This means that with an automation platform like Make, you can save hours per week or more in your business or even in your personal life, not doing manual activities. Now, like I said before, you don't have to know how to code in order to use Make to build automations. Usually to help myself understand things better, I like to make a metaphor or an analogy in order to really solidify the meaning of what I've just learned. And so I'm gonna try to do the same thing here for Make. And what I would compare Make to is a virtual version of Domino's or a Rube Goldberg machine, where when you set off that first domino or that, that first action, basically a bunch of things happen after that because you kicked it off. And this is really useful as a concept because it shows how simple and how complicated you can get with Make as well. Since it's a virtual dominoes, basically you can just have two dominoes lined up where you knock one over and then the other one falls over as well. Or you can set up a chain reaction that lasts for minutes or hours and, you know, keeps going for miles. Uh, it really depends on what you're looking for and the complexity of your business processes when you're setting up the automations in Make. So hopefully that analogy helps you a little bit in terms of understanding what Make is and what Make can do. Let's take a look at what the platform actually looks like and give some examples of types of things you can build in it. Now, before we jump into the actual Make app, I wanted to start out on the homepage here so that I can show you some useful links that'll help you understand what Make is used for. Now, up at the top here, you see both a solution menu and an apps and services menu. Now, both of these are very useful in understanding what Make can do exactly for your business. So if I go to the templates section of the solution menu, it brings me to the templates gallery. Now, the templates gallery is really useful because you can see examples that Make has already created that you can use in your business today. So you can filter it by category. You can just scroll down and look at the most popular templates, but this is a really good starting point to see how different apps are connected in the platform. Now, the other menu item is apps and services. And so if I go there, you'll see that it actually lists all the apps that Make supports. So you can search for the apps that you already use in your business and see if Make can build automations with them. You can even search here. So let's say we want to look for something like Salesforce. We have Salesforce, so we know that Make supports that. And if you want to browse apps, it's also a great way to see what apps you can use for your business, depending on the category that they're in. Now, one note that's very important is that just because an app isn't listed here, doesn't necessarily mean you can't build automations for it in Make. Make has a custom module that you can use so that if any tool you're using has an API, it can be configured and automated in Make. But we won't go too far into that because for this video, it's really not that important to know. The easiest and most straightforward automations are gonna be ones that use existing apps inside of Make. Now, before I actually dive into the Make app, I wanna make sure that you're registered for an account so that you can play around with the Make platform. Now, I have a link in the description of the video. If you click on it, you'll be able to sign up for an account absolutely free and get started in Make. So go ahead and pause the video and register for an account. And then after that, come back to the video and let's dive into the details of the app itself. And let's dive into the details of the platform itself. We're now inside the Make app, and what we're gonna focus on today is a type of thing called scenarios. Now, scenarios are the automations that you've built or templates that you've taken that are actually doing the automating behind the scenes. So I'm gonna go over here to scenarios, and then you'll see a bunch of examples that we have built um, for this account. And basically you can look at which scenarios are on. You can go in and edit existing scenarios or you can create a new scenario. And so this is what we're gonna do so we can see make an action. So I've jumped into a scenario that I've already built here to show you an example of what can be done in make. I have a Gmail app that acts as the trigger. And then I have a OneDrive app that acts as an action. So when the Gmail account that I have configured receives a new email, we're going to upload a file to OneDrive if that email has an attachment. And so all you have to do if you're testing out scenarios is click this run once button. Otherwise, at every 15 minutes, 
Make is going to check into Gmail and see if there are any new emails that have come through. And so this is really powerful because let's say you have a dedicated support email for your business and people send photos or files to it. You can automatically save those to OneDrive folders based off of a bunch of logic. So I already ran this scenario and I'll click it again just so you can see it in action. And so you can see Gmail is looking for new emails. And we actually had this filter out because there were no emails with attachments. But what you can do is you can even see what type of information Make is getting. And then that file, if it existed on the email, would be uploaded to OneDrive. And so this is a really simple example of something that you can do in Make, but you can make it much more complex than this. So Make doesn't have any limitations on the size or branches of logic. Now there obviously are limitations, but they're so big that you really shouldn't hit them in most scenarios. So you can see that, you know, I can add as many apps as I want if I wanted to add HubSpot here. Um, and I'm just gonna click through here. I'm not actually gonna configure everything. And you can see that you can just keep adding more and more modules so you can make automations that are as long as you want. And there's even ways that you can split this off into different branches based off of logic and do things in different apps. So this, the sky is literally the limit with make. You can automate anything. If it has a trigger, then you can do an action in another app. And that's the main premise that you need to know about. So hopefully now you know what Make is. I'm Dan Saavedra from MergerData.com. If you haven't signed up for an account yet with Make, please make sure to click on the link in the description of the video and go register for an account. It's absolutely free and I'm sure you'll find a lot of value out of it immediately. I run a business called MergerData.com. We're an analytics and automation agency who builds things in Make and other platforms. So if you run into any troubles, make sure to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help out and learn a little bit about your business and what you're trying to do. So have a good one. Thanks for watching.